What is the biggest threat to people's love life today? What is the biggest threat in relationships? It all started with an invitation from Georg Jensen to work together and create an object for the wallpaper handmade uh, issue that they do every year on the 10 years anniversary. Being Scandinavian, we of course have a kind of relationship to Georg Jensen as a brand that's always been around and have made all these wonderful objects. Elmgren and Dragset are some of the most influential artists of our time. They happen to be from Scandinavia also, like us, and so it was an interesting combination for us to think of working with them. We have a history in the company of collaborating with people over the years, but this collaboration is different in that we've worked with people who are architects or designers in a more decorative sense, uh, an object sense, but not really conceptual and contemporary artists. Their art puts itself in the center of social and cultural issues, and it's an interesting idea to see what an old craft like silver can do in that sort of environment. We want some creative tension in the process. We want someone to take us to a place where we didn't imagine we could go with our own designs, and hopefully we're providing them with something uh, that they didn't imagine they could do either, so that the result is something unexpected and, and hopefully something beautiful. It was a treat to be able to visit the workshop of, of Georg Jensen in Copenhagen. It was much more like craftsmanship involved in the objects than we would ever have imagined. You don't think that these kind of like workshops exist anymore. It's amazing to witness and to see that something can be so time-based and really is dependent on people with many, many years of training. The bed came up as an idea partly because of my personal history, because my last relationship actually ended because of too much use of cell phones, too much use of social media in everyday life. The idea was to make an object that would be very aesthetic in a way where the necessity of putting your cell phone away would also be an object that in itself would replace the design of the cell phone with something that is more beautiful and it would be an indication in your home or in a restaurant or in an office in a meeting room that here we do not use cell phones. For a piece that looks so modern and sleek, it's hard to imagine that it was made completely by hand, and it is. It's not made with molds or forms, it is hammered into shape. So it's very roughly put together and polished and time after time to become this smooth. It feels like a molded, almost liquid silver. Uh, it almost has an ease to it, but it's very complicated to make. thought that's a sort of like you know object that has a promise in it it's something you open you know, something exciting about it and we want this this object that we make also to have sort of a promise in it a, a sort of like expectation of the future
What was nice to see in the wallpaper exhibit is how people reacted and that an item like this is, is beautiful, of course, it is well made, but it also has a sense of humor. So to have a George Jensen design in that context and have that kind of conversation about it was what we were looking for in the beginning. We just wanted to be in a different conversation about culture and society and art and humor and where we are as a society. And it was nice to be in the same sentences as those types of topics uh, and also have a craft that is over a hundred years old in our company come to life in such a modern and contemporary environment.